Bienvenidos! Welcome to Spain on a Fork. I hope that you are doing fabulous today. We have such a great episode. I'm going to show you how to make homemade truffles four different ways, guys. These truffles are the perfect treat or gift any time of the year, but they're extra special during Valentine's Days. So guys, forget about getting her that expensive jewelry, and ladies, don't get him that expensive cologne. Instead, make these truffles for your sweetie, and they're gonna love you forever, guys. These truffles have an insane amount of flavor. They're so easy to make, and it's all done using just five simple ingredients. All right, folks, this is gonna be so much fun. Let's dive right in. I'm gonna begin by grabbing a saucepan, filling it halfway with water, and heating it with a medium-high heat. While our water is heating up in the saucepan, I'm gonna grab four ounces of a good quality dark chocolate. This equals about 110 grams, and get in there and break it into small pieces. This is a very important step. You know, the smaller the pieces of chocolate, the easier it melts. Once I have all the chocolate broken up, I'm gonna transfer it into a heat-proof bowl. Add in one third cup of heavy cream, and a quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract. All right, let's move back to our saucepan. Our water has began to boil. I'm gonna grab our heat proof bowl with the chocolate and the heavy cream and place it on top of the saucepan. Very important guys to not mix this. Just let it naturally come together. Now, I like to cook my heavy cream in this way. A lot of people like to add it into the saucepan. I find that when you do that, you can easily overcook it. Then it curds, the fats separate, and your chocolate sauce is completely destroyed. By cooking it in this way, your odds are much better of not overcooking that heavy cream, giving you perfection in this chocolate sauce. Exactly 10 minutes after adding the bowl to the saucepan, that heavy cream should be hot enough to melt the chocolate. And as you guys can see, the heavy cream never even boiled, so it's not gonna curd. Get in there, mix it around. You can easily see this is ready to go. I'm gonna remove the bowl from the heat and mix everything together until it's well combined. As you guys can see, by cutting up that chocolate, it makes it so much easier for everything to come together. Once everything's well mixed, I'm gonna transfer it into a shallow bowl. I like to do this step. That way when we add this into the freezer, this mixture hardens up a lot quicker. I'm gonna cover it with some saran wrap and add it into the freezer. Moving on to the next step, I'm gonna add in three quarters of a cup of shredded coconut into a large bowl. You can usually find this stuff in the baking aisle. And half a cup of condensed milk. and get in there and mix this together until it's well combined. Once again, guys, this is such an important step. You want these two ingredients to be perfectly combined together. Once again, I'm gonna transfer this into a shallow bowl. That way when we add it to the freezer, it can harden up a lot quicker. Cover it with some saran wrap and add it to the freezer. While our mixtures are in the freezer hardening up, I'm gonna get the toppings ready. I'm gonna add some shredded coconut, some chocolate sprinkles, and some chopped almonds into separate bowls. You can use whatever kind of toppings you want here and customize these truffles to your liking. 30 minutes after adding the coconut mixture into the freezer, I'm gonna take it out. The chocolate one needs another 15 more minutes. I'm gonna remove the saran wrap. Grab some of the mixture and start forming it into the shape of the ball. Now I like to shape my truffles in the size of a cherry tomato, which makes it a one bite or two bite deal. If you want to make yours bigger, go ahead, but this size right here is the perfect size for a truffle. And as you finish each one, transfer it into some parchment paper. And continue to do this until you have all your truffles done. You should get between 12 to 14 from this mixture. Once you have all your truffles done, I'm gonna coat half of them in the shredded coconut and make sure you move the truffle around. That way it's evenly coated. And as you finish coating each truffle, transfer it into a wrapper. And once again, guys, make sure you move the truffle around. That way it's evenly coated with the toppings. Once you have all those done, I'm gonna coat the other half with the chocolate sprinkles. And once again, make sure you evenly divide those chocolate sprinkles into each truffle.
And our first two style of truffles are done, guys. Look how insane these looks. I'm gonna cover these with some saran wrap and add them back into the freezer. That way they can harden up while we move on to the chocolate mixture. So I took the chocolate mixture out of the freezer. It was in there between 45 to 50 minutes. And we're gonna do the exact same thing. Get in there with a spoon and then with your hands and roll it into truffles. They're about the size of a cherry tomato. Very important, guys. With each one that you finish, make sure you add it to some parchment paper. That way they don't stick. Now, if you find that your chocolate mixture is too hard to work with, that's okay. Just let it sit at room temperature, let it soften up a little bit, and vice versa, if it's too soft, where you can't even shake the truffles, just add it back into the freezer for a couple minutes. And from this mixture, we should end up with 10 to 12 chocolate truffles. Once all the chocolate truffles are done, I'm gonna grab half of them and coat them in the chopped up almonds. And again, guys, just mix it around. That way it's evenly coated. Once those are done, I'm gonna coat the other half in the chocolate sprinkles. <laughs> That's it, guys. All our truffles are done. Look how beautiful these chocolate ones turned out. I'm gonna go to the freezer and grab the coconut ones. They should be ready to be served. They've been in there for about 15 minutes. Look at all these truffles, guys. Insane amount of flavor. Four incredible truffles that are gonna blow you away. So easy to make and no baking required. You guys can box these up, gift them as a gift, enjoy them with some afternoon tea. Either way you go, you're gonna absolutely love these truffles. <laughs> okay, guys, our truffles are done. Look how beautiful these turned out. Make these for yourself or even better, make them and give them as a gift. This is the best gift you can ever give. Let's give one of them a try and see how they turned out. I'm gonna try one of the coconut ones here. Here we go. <laughs> so, <laughs> what an incredible texture, kind of melts in your mouth. You know, all four of these truffles are incredibly delicious. So hard to choose which one. That's the best thing. You got four to choose from, guys. So easy to make and so much better than the store-bought stuff. Really quick, before I go, I'd like to give out a quick shout out to one of my patrons, Jesper Halum. Again, Jesper, thank you so much for all your support. I truly appreciate you. For the rest of you, if you want to support me on Patreon, help me with ingredients and equipment to continue making videos like this, you'll find my Patreon link in the description box below and iCard above. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button. Leave me a comment below and if you're not subscribed, smash that subscribe button. Till the next time, hasta luego.